Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Zach or the Firefly Remedy, and we're doing another live commentary. This time, we're playing some core TDM on the map Stronghold, but I don't want to talk too much about the background gameplay, as I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talk much about the background gameplay. Today, we are talking about something very cool, very interesting, hopefully to you guys. It's very interesting to me, considering I am a huge fangirl when it comes to this topic. Prestiging. Prestige emblems, all of it. I just love it. Uh, I actually did a speed drawing on the COD 4 Prestige emblems. I'm thinking about doing it for every single game. And let me know what you think. I'll put the link of that video in the description, so you can check it out after if you'd like. But anyway, another thing. Before we get into it, I want you guys to know that this video is not going to contain all 10 prestige emblems because nobody, as far as I'm aware, knows about them, especially YouTubers. So, they've started this countdown. If you don't follow Sledgehammer on social media like Twitter, like I do, I recommend you keep up to date, especially if you're really excited for the release of COD World War II. They're doing a bunch of giveaways lately, a bunch of really cool stuff. And yesterday, they started this thing. I have the tweet pulled up right here. It was T-10 days until worldwide launch. Uh, I, I'm trying to read this while I'm playing. Um, get ready to prestige, blah, blah, blah. And it was a picture of the first prestige emblem. And I thought it looked so sick. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay. My, my edge slides are all off because I'm trying to read Twitter right now and do all this at the same time. But I haven't done a live commentary in a while, so it's kind of difficult. But at the same time, it's whatevs. Um, yeah, they, today, like, as of, like, 15 minutes ago, they also released another, uh, Prestige Emblem, which should be Prestige 2, so what does this mean? What I interpret this as, and what I'm sure a lot of other people are interpreting it as, is that there are going to be 10 Prestige Emblems in this game. Now, that doesn't mean that they won't add more in the future, in my opinion, they probably will. I don't know if we'll see the 10th Prestige Master, then 1000 levels afterwards. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They've done a lot of really different things throughout COD history. I know during uh, Modern Warfare 3, I got to 10th Prestige, and then there were a few months where I was just stuck there, and then they added 10 more Prestiges, and I ended up going all the way, you know? So they always do weird stuff like that, so you don't... Who knows? It, it really depends on how the community reacts, I'm sure, because... As much as they don't listen to us, they, they really do in many aspects, but you can't really get on them about the supply drops, that's what I'm referring to now. Because it is a moneymaker, it's kind of a scumbaggy thing to do, but, you know, it makes the money, they're a business, from a business standpoint, it's correct. And I'm trying not to go on and off on a tangent right there, but hopefully you guys get my point. I would really like for them to stick with just 10 prestiges. I know a lot of people disagree, but that's just me. I really enjoy the older... COD games, the simpler ones, and if you watch my channel rather frequently, you will know that I am very into, very into COD World at War. I'm really into World War II games, and just the older CODs in general, COD 4, uh, Black Ops, you know, all that stuff. They were simple, and I feel like they really worked well, and I feel like the community was more connected than it ever was. So hopefully they stay simple with these games, and that's just my preference. If you could have other opinions, let me know in the comment section below. What are you looking for? Do you want to see more uh, procedures, more than 10? I mean, we don't know for sure if there are going to be 10, but it, we can take a good guess, considering they're counting back from 10, 10 days until release date. So, I'm assuming that's what they're going to start with, 10 prestiges, and then go on from there. Um, I don't really know much about it, as I'm sure not really anyone else does. So, yeah, um, oh god, oh, I'm having a pretty good game here right now. <laughs> I was also thinking of, uh, it, it, it's so hard to not only com like, live comms are generally hard, but when you're talking about a specific topic, like trying to tell a story almost, it's difficult. And I'm having a really good game right here. This is like the third or fourth time that I've tried this. Every time I try and do a live commentary, especially on this one, I, I failed every time. because Not because of the commentary itself, but because the gameplay was absolute shit. I was doing it poorly. And I want to have like the best of both worlds. I want to have a good gameplay, and I also want to uh, really uh, get my point across and be coherent. So, like I was saying, um, I'm probably going to make a speed drawing video of the first 10 prestige emblems. Hopefully, that gets some views, because I need views on this channel, guys. Yeah, I do. I'm trying to grow this channel, and you know, it's hard to make videos 
whenever you're not getting much support. So, I just think it would be really cool. I think it would be fun, because I like drawing and all that good stuff. Alright. Oh my gosh. This Razorback, by the way, is freaking amazing. This thing is amazing. I rec I started recently using it without a suppressor. Um, I, I kind of, like, in hardcore, it, it, it's hard to explain, but I feel like in hardcore, suppressors are needed. I don't know how to explain it, though, because when you're playing stealthy, I, I know there's not really a mini-map in hardcore, unless somebody gets a radar, like UAV, but I feel like suppressors are more important than they are in core, uh, because obviously there's the damage drop in core, and it really can hurt you. Uh, you lose a lot of gunfights if you're using a suppressor, whereas right, if you run into somebody with a Razorback without a suppressor on, and you have one, the odds of you winning that gun battle drop pretty significantly, I'd say, especially depending on the range. Like, if you're farther away, like, you're pretty much fucked, assuming you guys have the same accuracy, you know? But I always preferred to use silencers in back in the day, and that's just because I like to play fast, but I also like to be stealthy. It's kind of an odd combination, but that's just kind of how it is, you know? It's just kind of how it is. And anyway, it looks like we are about to win this shit. That's a freaking solid game. My sentry gun's going off. <laughs> yeah, this, I'm just so happy I got this commentary in. I, I didn't need to do it live, but I did. Alright, 35 and 6, not too bad. Not too bad. I haven't done a live in so long, but anyway guys, let me know what you think. I will catch you all later. Bye.